Hello everybody, this is part 3 of the Rhino modeling demo of the Mid Journey concept design. And in this part, I would like to walk you through the creation process of this, this, and this feature over here. And as a side note, you'll notice that my form is slightly different from the original design mainly in this area as the original design has a more downward slope whereas mine has a more horizontal orientation around this region this is because I want to give a more sci-fi spaceship look to my design however if a um, more slope down appearance is desired over here that's similar to the one that is uh, shown on the original concept you will have to make sure that the initial curves which are these curves have their control points at this region pointing downwards okay in that way you will get like a more slope effect okay without further ado let's start okay the first thing I want to do is to create the curves that will form the basis of the back end feature and I want to use the offset curve on surface command to create those curves okay, maybe set offset distance to 2.4 ok there's an error curve let me delete it okay, now I need to create the curve for the side as well using the same command but this time I'm going to use the true point option instead ok now let's mirror this curve to the other side ok let me join the curves together Maybe I should move the curve out so you can see better. Okay, now I think what I want to do is I want to reduce the control points by using the rebuild curve non-uniform. Maybe I should set a new value for the requested tolerance. Okay. Let me extrude this curve into a surface using the gumball something like that Let me extrude this surface into a solid using the gumball something like that okay, I want to cut away the front portion of the newly created solid so that the feature will have a cleaner uh, look let me set it to an angle let's say 70 ok let me use this surface to remove the front region of this block ok it's done now I can use this block to create the back feature of the main body by using boolean difference okay. I'm placing the block into position and then let's use boolean difference ok great we got a feature at the back Let me do a little bit of like filleting. Let's use blend edge instead for a nicer transition. Okay, let's repeat this. 
Okay, now I want to do the feature on the top. Okay, I'm going to use these original curves to form the basis for the new edge of the feature. Going to use the offset command to create the two main edge of the feature. Let me set the offset distance to 0.15. Let's try 0.15. Thing is like too narrow. Maybe it's too narrow. Let me repeat this. Let's use point two one instead. Okay, I think it's a bigger gap now. Let me mirror these two curves to the other half. And then draw a line to connect those open ends. Okay. I think I created enough curve to create a planner surface, which I'm going to do now. Okay, surface for planner curves. Okay, now I have a nice flat surface which I can use to perform an extrusion into a solid using the gumball. Okay, move it down so you can see what I'm doing better. Select it, select the gumball, extrude dot, drag up. Nice, got a new solid which I can use as a cutting tool. Let's just hide. But it's not needed for the moment. Okay, I want to create this feature. Let's use Boolean difference. Nice, We've got a feature now. Okay, get a feature. As you can see, and now I want to create this feature by the side. And firstly, I will need to create a curve that will be projected onto the side. Let's navigate to the right view. Okay, I'm using the control point curve. Let's let me repeat this again, sorry. Okay. Make sure that the main region is horizontal on the curve. Now I'm going to click the record history before I do the project curve on surface process. Okay, so like this, like this. Okay, you can see that now the curve has been projected onto the object. And because it is a recorder history, if I move this, it will be updated. Okay, as you can see on the design, the feature is not symmetrical. Okay, so I need to actually project twice. 
let me create the feature for one half first. Let me create the right half first. I think this is about the correct height. Let's explode the curve and then keep only what is required. Don't need this. Don't need this. I need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Okay, click record history again. And now I want to project the curve onto the other half. Repeat the same process again. And then adjust the original curve to an intended location okay maybe something like that okay let me click explode so that i can keep what is required don't need this. Don't need this. I don't need this. Don't need this. Somehow I find that the curve on the right is not at the ideal position. Maybe I should redo that curve on the right again. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to delete it and I want to reproject that curve again. Coming to the right view and redo the process again. Let me move the original curve. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, maybe something like that. Okay, let me explode the projected curves and delete away why it's not required. Okay, only these two curves are required. Let me join them. Maybe I should reduce the control points. By using the review curve non-uniform. Okay, now it's better. The curve has lesser control points. And let me extrude it into a surface. Let's bring this down a bit. Let me extend the size so that we can perform a safer or better split later. Boolean split. Nice. Don't need this surface anymore. Ok, 
Okay, I think we got our features for this part done up. Maybe I should assign material so that I can see the result of the features creation better. Okay, I think now we can see the details better after materials have been assigned to the various details. With that, I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.